Hi, today's tutorial is going to show you how to create and set up uh, groups inside of a Canvas course. Uh, so the first thing we need to do on the home page here is we need to come over here and click on the People tab in the Course Navigation menu. Okay, and you can see I already have one group created, and this is a list of the students. Okay, but in order to create another group, I want to come over here and click on this Plus Group Set button. It's going to bring up a new window. So I'm just going to call this... Um, group just for the sake of this notice I can allow self sign up which basically means this is the students who are in the class I can sign themselves up in a group um, in this case I want to go ahead and split the kids into in this case my students into two groups and it'll automatically assign them for me as soon as I hit save okay so if I go ahead and say I want two groups in this case there's 16 people in the class that'll be two groups of eight I hit save You'll see the test group, it says it's randomly assigning. There they are. You can see there's no unassigned students. Here's group one. You can see there's eight, eight students there. And here's group two, eight students here. Now, if I want to actually assign the groups, I can create another group. We'll just call this demo manual so that I can remember to do it manually. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go four groups. Okay, but I want to create the groups manually. Okay, so I'm splitting it into four groups, but I'm going to assign the members. Okay, so I'll go ahead and hit save. I'll create the group set. Okay, so you can see here they, here they are. Okay, we actually haven't created a group yet. So I'm going to just go here. I'll just go demo one. And then I want to limit it to um, four members. Okay, so that way I can get four groups of four. Okay, so let's go here. Four. Okay, so you can see I've created uh, these additional groups. And that way I can basically assign these students to each of these groups uh, as soon as I get them set up so obviously you can kind of see just a little bit on the preparation side it is easier to have canvas fit for you but in any case if i click here i can go plus i can put trisha in demo one um then if i click there you can see that she's in there uh, i'll put darcy in demo two and so i'm just going to go open these up that way i can see who's where as i assign them you can notice too you see these little domino dots i can also just drag students uh, if this is easier, um, so we can just kind of randomly assign them, you know, and then not, not to worry too, like, oh, gee, I messed up. I, I, I don't think I want Leanne here. I can go ahead and click here, and I can move her um, to one of the other groups if I choose. Okay. So there, I can move her there. So I don't really want her uh, in Demo 3. I can go ahead and move her to Demo 4. Okay, so now he ends down here with Kim. Um, so you can see these aren't permanent. You can drag and drop them, and it tells you how many students are in each, even after you kind of close them. Um, you know what I mean? So, and then you can see that these students over here are still unassigned. Um, but anyway, that is how you use and set up groups. And then you can use those for discussions. You can use those for assignments. So let's say real quick, for example, I want to... Now create an assignment. If I were to make it a group assignment, you would see those groups pop up. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and click plus assignment just so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so if I go plus assignment, I'm not going to actually create this one. But if I make the group set, see I can, originally it's going to look like this, right? Group assignment. This is a group assignment when I click there. Now I have choices. I can put it into test group. Okay, and so now it would assign that to each student individually. Okay, or I could create a new group right here. And in any case, that is how you set up and use groups uh, within Canvas. You can also do that within discussions as well. Um, so if I were to come over here and create a new discussion, I could also use those same group sets that I just created um, to set up a discussion. Okay, so I can just go, this is a group discussion. I can select the group set. Okay, and then now only those people within that group participate in that part of the discussion. 
So each group has the discussion, but only the, the group members are going to be the participants in each. They don't see each other's discussion. Um, so that's how you would set up and use groups inside of Canvas.